What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Italianator, aka Unifier, and we are back at it again with some team deathmatch. Last game kind of cut out, but it cut out one kill away from uh, the end, so it didn't really matter. I did pretty good. I think I counted up. I went, I don't know, 26 and 3 or 4 or something like that. So it wasn't too bad of a game. Everyone backed out of it, so I couldn't get too many more kills. And uh, anyways, we're going to jump right into another one, see if we can get another good gameplay for y'all. If I don't, then I'll just get rid of this video, record another one. Ay, the joy, man. The joy. Come on. So, it looks like I'm going to have to back out of this. No. Fun game. There you go. I think it's figuring it out. And I also noticed that I'm recording through my headset, which I don't want to do. I want to record through my mic, my Blue Yeti. So, hopefully this fixed the problem. I have my mic muted, so you shouldn't be able to hear me through my mic. And hopefully my Blue Yeti's picking it up. We'll find out at the end of this. And why is there no matches? I have all the DLC and everything. Like, come on. Three matches for Team Deathmatch. Two matches. For, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, man. Zero matches. I'm really confused as to why... <laughs> why Call of Duty, Treyarch... All these companies that make this game put their time and effort into this game... Like, you'd think at least a few of them are passionate about making other people happy and trying to make a product that was, you know, worth it, worth the money that you're paying for. Plus, you know, $6 for the game, plus you have to have internet, plus, so you're paying an internet company. Plus, you have to buy the season pass if you want all the new maps. Plus, don't forget this other plus, <laughs> you gotta buy care packages like what the shit is that but people do it and instead of being like you know what thank you for giving us so much more freaking money this year next game we make is going to be freaking apps absolutely amazing you know off the charts off the chain out of this world whatever you want to call it just something you know decently good we get this like i'm sitting in a lobby by myself 16 seconds left like it's not going to start the game at the, what am I going to play against myself? Play against ghosts? Like, what the hell? I'd probably rather play Call of Duty Ghosts at this damn point. Fine match. Core. Team Deathmatch. Why? Zero matches. Zero matches. You see what I do with people? This is the stuff that I deal with on a daily. And when I do get thrown into a game, either everybody's lagging or I'm lagging. And I have I run 60 MBS, so I should not be lagging ever. I mean, I guess with somebody that's running, you know, 120 or something like that, I might feel like I'm lagging. But on the average, no. Look at this crap. I'm in another lobby all by myself. Let's vote for let's vote for Rift. Let's vote for Stronghold. See if it's gonna take me in there. Probably not. Let's try another one, shall we? Fine game. Core. Do some domination. This one has four matches. Zero of fifty. Zero of one. Let me know if you experience this stuff. Let me know if every time or every once in a while you try to join games and it pretty much says there's nobody playing. And I know I know damn well people are playing this effing game right now. I just got out of a freaking match. My video will be uploaded <coughs> before this one. So I know this is 
the past right now, but it's the present for me. So you'll, if you check out my last video on this channel other than this one, it'll talk about or it'll show you a game that I was in. I think I went like 26 and 4 in that damn game. I did really well, and then everybody rage quit, and then I think it kicked me out like I got a land cable not dis or not connected one kill away from the end of the match, so that wasn't a huge deal. But this is a shit I deal with on a daily basis. So I was gonna <laughs> this was gonna be a game. Um I was gonna play some team death deathmatch for you guys, try and get one where you know, I really went off on these kids and destroyed them. But it looks like that's not going to happen because I can't get into a game. And I bet you, I guarantee it, if I finally do get into a game, 10 matches now. But if I finally do get into a game, I bet you it's like all, at least halfway over. Or it's been started for a while. I get thrown into one. One where the team that I get thrown on is getting absolutely demolished. And then I can either leave... And wait even fucking longer for another game. Excuse my language. Or I can stay in there and just get smacked around with like everybody else. The daily struggle for Call of Duty players. Battlefield, where you at? <laughs> Titanfall 2, where you at? COD Remastered, where the hell are you at? I need you right now. Because this shit, Infinite Warfare, probably going to be shit. I'm going to play it. I'm not, I don't really want to talk shit about it before it comes out. But it's the same shit, man. Kyrie Master might even be fucked. Excuse my language again, but... Call of Duty just does not know how to fucking make a video game. <laughs> it really anymore. They just don't know how to. They, they reskin their fucking games. They make the game just to make money. They throw in freaking care packages or whatever the fuck you want to call those things. I don't even mess with them or buy them. I mean, if I got them, I'll go in here and go into the black market and get them, but I've never put money into this stupid-ass game other than buying the fucking game, paying for my internet so I can play the game, buying the season pass. Oh, and I forgot to mention PlayStation Plus. Are you shitting me? So $50 a year for PlayStation Plus. I pay $80 a year for my internet. I paid $60 for this damn game. And then what, another 50 or $60 for the season pass? And on top of that, let's go in here. They want you to go into the black market. How do I, how do I buy shit? They want to give you the black market. They want you to pay $2 for 200 cop points. $10 for 1100 $20 for 2400 $40 for 5000 And 100 bucks for 13000 cop points. Now what the fuck? Why would I want to put that? Why would I want to put any more money into this game? I don't even want to put two dollars into this game for two hundred cop points. And how much does it cost to open one of these things with cop points? Two hundred. So for two bucks, you can get one rare supply drop, where you're probably gonna get juped and fucked in the ass anyway. Excuse my language again, but dear God, this game is so frustrating. It really pisses me off. And I don't like to be—I don't like to get frustrated. I don't like to be mad. But I can play Battlefield. Yeah, I get a little frustrated. You watch my videos with Matt Mover. I will get upset sometimes. But that's because I'm competitive. It's not because the game fucked me over or or you know ripped me off. It's because I just straight up got destroyed, <laughs> and I'm a little salty at myself about it. You know, maybe, maybe not. I didn't have as good map awareness as I should have, or some bullshit like that. But this shit, no. This is. 100% the game just being shitty. I know you're going to say, especially if you're a huge fan of Call of Duty, it's not shitty. You know, you're just, maybe you're just not as good as you think you are. Man, I run a t over a 2KD in this game. How many of you do that? Firstly. Secondly, I've never ran anything under a 2KD in any Call of Duty ever, other than Advanced Warfare. Which that game was absolutely shit, in my opinion. But I am old school and like the boots on the ground. So if you like that hopping around flying shit, good for you. That's cool. And I don't even hate on it. I don't mind it even really in this game. It's not that type of stuff that bothers me. What bothers me is they throw flying in good, all wonderful, great. But no, on top of that, you still got campers and still really hardly any way to counter, you know, counteract them, especially playing hardcore mode. I cannot play hardcore mode. I like it. I enjoy it. But I just can't play it. 
I'd rather play, you know, competitive gameplays or, you know, S and D. If you're gonna camp camp on S and D, that I can deal with because I expect it. But when you're playing team deathmatch and the and your objective is get as many kills or domination, and your objective is to take flags, and somebody's camping on your spawn, not even touching the flag, you go they go the game <laughs> five and thirty, and they didn't even touch a flag at all. Or go the game thirty and one, it didn't touch a flag at all. That shit's frustrating. But even worse, worse than the players doing stupid shit and the game allowing it, which is going to happen. Worse than jumping around, flying around, wall running, you know, doing backflips, triple backflips, shooting guns at your assholes. Other than all that, putting almost $200, $250 into a game just so they can sell shit in the game that you have to put even more money into so you can get a little bit of an upper hand getting the FFAR there or the MX1 or MX Grand, whatever the hell it is. The gun that fucking you don't have to reload. The freaking marshals. Like, are you shitting me? Not only are you going to have people camping, they got to just give them two fucking pistols or a pistol that shoots like a shotgun. It kills you in one shot. Blow me, Treyarch. Blow me, Call of Duty. This shit's bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Copyright this motherfucking video. I don't care. I'm tired of your bullshit. I really am. And I'm sorry to rant. I'm sorry to cuss. Oh, I hate it. Uh, I hate cussing and ranting, that is. And of course, you can tell I don't like the game. I don't like the way the game is going. <laughs> I will see what happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will see what happens when the next game releases. But I about guarantee it. About 99.99999% guarantee that I will be playing COD Remastered way more than I'll fucking touch Infinite Warfare. Because if it's gonna, if this game makes me piss, Infinite Warfare is gonna probably infinitely more times piss me off. I'm just saying. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Sorry for the fucking rant. I didn't come here to rant. I came here to play a damn game. And as you've seen, every time I try to hop into a game, it would not let me in. I don't know why. It makes no sense. There are people playing, always playing. Anyway, I'm done. I gotta stop. I just quit. Deep breath, James. Who saw, motherfucker? Excuse my language. Once again, I love you all, and I do appreciate you coming. And if you love this game, to each their own. I have no quantums or problems with anybody. Only thing I don't like is everything that I shared with you. But people, I love people. When I die in games, I ain't pissed at the person that killed me. Even though I sounds like it sometimes, I get upset sometimes, I'm always usually pissed off at myself. Unless it's game breaking, which, you know, most Call of Duties anymore feel game breaking to me. But regardless, I do love you guys and I do appreciate you. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments below, what do you feel about this game? You know, what are your feelings on What are your thoughts on it? Your opinions? Because I would really like to know. I'd, I'd like to have this discussion. It's an open discussion. If you don't like what I have to say, just share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. But otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. I don't usually upload videos like this. I try to just upload gameplay, live commentary gameplay. But every once in a while, shit comes out and I gotta let it out. I'm the type of person, I don't hold my feelings in. I let it out as soon as I feel it. So that I, you know, so I don't blow up, you know, some other time, blow up on somebody. You know, create a bigger problem. Which I think is a better way to do it. But to each their own. Anyways. I gotta get out of here. I've taken up too much of your time already. If you stayed this long, you're a real super trooper. And I appreciate you. Make sure to hit that like button three times. Once for good luck. Twice for me. And the third time so they could actually like it. <laughs> and yeah, anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next episode, in the next chapter, whatever the case may be. God bless, and peace out, y'all. And bye! Bye, bye, bye.